had a couple of uh, questions from people asking is it possible to have a start menu like Windows Vista in XP well the answer to that is yes I've also had a few other questions on how to change themes and stuff and maybe I'll do that in another video um, but in this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the actual look of the actual start menu to make it look like Vista it's pretty painless and pretty simple really because this guy's done all the work you can get it from www.vistastartmenu.com and it's a freeware program it does work with uh, Windows 2000, 2003, XP, Vista and Windows 7 uh, I'm not sure you'd want to use it on Windows 7 because Windows 7 is pretty awesome in its own right but I mean mainly if you wanted to use it on the other ones by all means give it a stab I mean it is pretty much uh, freeware there is a pro version that gives you more um, more choice of skins and stuff I think and, and stuff like that but I mean mainly that there is a freeware version so let's actually download it and have a look they've also got a forum there which is if you've got any questions you can actually ask him and stuff like that this is the guy that's made it I think but uh, it's only 3.4 megabytes in size or 2 megabytes in size I should say uh, that's version 3.4 so let's have a little look at the application itself so I'm just going to quickly uh, install this and uh, just quickly install and it is quite a handy little tool to have if you want that I mean I've installed it on a few people's uh, computers but um, most people now are trying to opt for Windows 7 so I'm not sure if this is going to be much use for people but some people still want to use Windows XP so uh, I'm just going to block that one because I don't want it going out to the internet uh, so I'm going to block okay so we're just going to launch this now I'm going to launch the program so puts a little desk as you can see the way it works let me just show you the way it works basically it doesn't alter the operating system files at all so as you can see here it's just like a little box on top of your desktop and all you need to do is just put that over the top of where your start menu is so the actual start menu is still there you can just alt tab like that it just overtakes it okay so I don't think it does major damage uh, to the operating system you can just uninstall it so this is our new look which is our Vista look okay and if you want to close her off you just click there if you want to open her up you click on the actual start button so here we have an actual nicer you can actually add items to the menu and take uh, items away as you can see at the top okay you can run items from the pop-up menu you can also you can see they're all nicely in categories in boxes here okay you can customize all this if you wanted to and uh, move these about and do what you like really there's you put everything how you want it and uh, it's not going to change anything on your system I don't think but as you can see here uh, we've got quick start as well you've got the quick start item and you've also got auto run which is auto running okay you've got uh, the pro version tab up the top there if you want to get a pro version you don't need to you can make the box bigger or smaller by just grabbing hold of it like a browser like so okay make it bigger make it smaller whatever you want you've also got these handy little buttons down here so if you want to add you can actually uh, if you want to add an, an actual button you can actually right click on the browser bar there and just add something so say for instance you want shutdown added on there it will add shutdown as you can see and a restart it'll add a restart tab so there's none of that edit in the registry or nothing like that no more it does it all for you um, and log off so you want to put all these on there you can do okay so as you can see these are your little tabs uh, that you've got you can take these away or add them now this is the search bar that looks like Vista as you can see let's say for argument's sake I'm looking for a program say cross loop so what I'd need to do is type in here cross same as I would in uh, same as I would in uh, Vista so cross loop oh would help if I started to spell it right there we go so if I just put crossing even it comes straight up there okay so I don't even have to get to uh, cross loop but there you go so there's the actual application and uh, if I wanted to put in there quick zoom so anything with Q and Z 
see I put QZ not even got to the full word and then it's there straight away so it works pretty cool in a Windows XP if you want to get that little look and feel to to it I mean even if you don't want it looking like Vista and you just want to use the actual um, the actual application that looks like Vista it is very useful and you're not doing any damage major damage to the operating system okay so that's basically how that works you've got the op uh, option screen here where you can actually change the menu uh, skins and stuff like that it's pretty much self explanatory you can run yourself through it um, but that's about it really um, we'll make another video on changing the themes like I've done here if you want to change themes they're pretty much easy to do but I'll make a video on that just to show you how to do that so that covers all the bases basically but if you asked in my opinion uh, don't bother wasting your time with this get yourself Windows 7 uh, it's a far superior operating system okay so my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk hope you enjoy these videos if you enjoy these videos please subscribe to my channel and also rate uh, for my videos okay you got any questions like this guy did then obviously either post me a private message or get onto the forum and post a question on there any requests for videos then the forums probably the best place to do that and ask me to make any video you like as long as it's technical related and I will do um, do that video for you okay thanks guys for your support bye for now